Google Search is designed for general public use, not for academic research. However, there are simple ways of making it offer up material that may be suitable for your assignments. The site colon command lets you specify a top-level domain for Google to search. Not sure what a top-level domain is? It's things like .com, .co.uk and, most usefully for academic research, .gov.uk and .ac.uk. Let's say you want official data on the UK prison population. In the Google search box, type in prison population followed by site colon gov.uk. It will then only search UK government websites, immediately eliminating unofficial or non-UK websites. It's important to note that you mustn't include a space after the colon or the search command won't work. Site colon doesn't have to be used only with top level domains. You can specify websites after it too. For example, the search for prison followed by site colon legislation.gov.uk will search the official UK legislation website for anything to do with prison. If it's reports that you're after, then they are normally published in PDF format, so why not try using the file type command? For example, prison reform file type colon PDF. You don't have to stick to single commands. You can also use multiple commands in the same search, such as this example which will look for the word prison in PDF documents on UK government websites. It's not all about specifying sites and file types. You can also let Google know what you want to include or exclude from results. Let's use the example of prison riots. You might start by using the site command to find reports on the BBC News website so that you can identify the big famous riots. Next, you might want to search Google more broadly, but not too broadly because you've decided to focus on the 1990s. You can specify a number or date range by putting two dots between the numbers, such as 1990.1999. If you find that Google keeps returning information on the same things all the time, such as the famous Strangeway riots, then you can ask it to exclude that topic by entering a minus symbol before the word, such as in this example. There are loads more ways of controlling Google results to make it work for you. To find out about them, try Googling Google search commands. So far, all we've looked at is using Google to find websites and reports. If you want Google to find academic articles for you, then Google the word Scholar for a link to Google Scholar, a specialist search engine for journal articles. If you're on campus, then it will cleverly link up to our library holdings to let you know if you have access to the articles it finds. If you're not on campus, then click on Settings and go to Library Links to activate the link up with Anglia Ruskin Library Holdings.